Hey guys, welcome to my video. If you're new, my name is Amira, but you probably are new because I'm just starting out with this channel. So I make videos about journaling, pen poling, painting, you know, just how to be creative on a daily basis. So make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I'm really sorry that I'm not actually in front of the camera, but I have a quarantine face, so I'm going to spare you that. But in this video, we're going to do something really fun. And let me clean my desk first. If you watch my videos or if you know me from Instagram, you know my desk is always the worst thing ever. It's super messy. So here it comes. We're going to do actually you know it by the title. Oh my god, it's so stupid. But makeover for my K-pop journal. So this is my K-pop journal. As you can see, it's looking really bad. I mean the washi tape is like not sticking anymore. Um this is not sticking anymore. This is like third. <laughs> like it's glue. Um pretty ashamed of that and um, you know the inserts are really boring so we're going to do some new inserts in here we're going to do a new cover um, we're gonna also clean this um, A5 binder it's a A5 clear binder um, if you want to get that one this one I'm going to like everything that I use um, in the description box below so check that out also uh, I'm not gonna um, purchase anything I'm just going uh, to use everything that I have laying around at home is going to be a challenge for me, but let's do this. So we're going to start out by cleaning this little uh, binder. Oops. So I'm going to peel all the washi tape off. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to be a cheapskate, but I'm going to keep these. <laughs> I'm going to journal with them um, because they were from a Happy Meal from a special that I really uh, admire a lot so and, you know with glue they can stick you know look how pretty they are so I think now I'm going to let this dry what I'm gonna do is actually find some inserts so I'm going to use my best friend Pinterest and let's see what we have aesthetic wallpaper let's see what do we have Ooh, this one is really pretty So to explain to you what I'm doing, so I choose what type of background I really like and the best backgrounds are actually these long, long ones for your phone and then I had to Canva and I pick the A4 size because uh, our binder is A5 and that means um, you can use half of an A4 is an A5 so you basically can pick two backgrounds and also your printer prints A4 so best option in my opinion I guess so what I do I just upload everything I have here I just made a folder and I called it inserts and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna upload them so when you have your first one with the measurements and everything you just go on to copy it then then you can insert just whatever pick you've downloaded like this and for example like that just you know drag it and put it there and that's what I'm going to keep doing till I have enough inserts I went for a very pink color palette so I don't think I'm going to pull off that 80-90s look very well but hey everyone has their own style right and what you can do, you can actually just copy the ones that you really like. So then you have like two of the same thing. Okay, so the printer printed everything out. Okay. So I got everything printed out. Unfortunately, I do not know what happened, but I have these white borders here. Um, so that's not in half anymore. Like. But you know, it's okay, we can work with that. Mm. I'm going to take my paper cutter. 
butter. And I'm just gonna cut everything in half with a little bit more inserts um, I got some white inserts some color ones and then the printed ones so what we're gonna do is we're going to punch some holes in them the six I do not own a puncher especially for a a five binder with six holes I do not own that but I do have just a, like a regular one and I will work fine too so I'm going to use this one as a reference, so I'm gonna place this one here. I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just gonna color in everything. I'm trying to make sure that everything is in its place. Like this, and then just okay we did like and then we're going to find the hole you just really have to make sure that everything is straight and you can see the dark dot that I made I'm just gonna punch in it like this Now we have six holes. Now we have six holes for your binder. So what I'm gonna do now is just rearrange everything. But of course, if you're journaling and you're saying that it's like way too heavy for your spread or you're just not feeling the pink and the yellow, you can, you, you know, switch things up since it's a binder. So you can use all the creativity that you have. So we have this, but now it's not out of cover anymore. It's uh, a part of our cable channel, so why is this not good? Oh. So, voila, this is now the, all the inserts of our cable journal. Like this. But now we need a new cover. So, for the cover, um, I'm again taking my laptop and I'm going to print things out. So I chose a background that I wanted for my cover and instead of actually doing it this method to get an A5, I'm just doing it in the middle so I'm making sure I do not have the white borders I had on my inserts. So now I'm pretty sure it's an A5, well if it's not we still can you know, cut it. Um, so now I'm going to print it on some thicker paper I had laying around. Okay, so this is the cover, um, let's see, oh my god, actually it fits, what the hell, this is, okay, weird, anyway, 
so now we're gonna make some holes in it, but... Oh my god, if it's perfectly... Oh my god. So it's totally not the 90s, 80s vibe, but... I just, you know, like more cuter stuff. And now I am going to leave this um, empty so when time comes I can, you know, just put it on the back and also put like a date on it and change my cover again. So I'm actually really thinking how I want to decorate this. And I know it's really wrong, but I think I'm gonna use some pictures from my wall because they're really good quality. Um, which one? will I get so I think I'm gonna use this but on the cover I also just got this because I use a lot of these pink papers for a yellow one yeah a yellow looks I also I'm going to use this for the first time these are just letters because I am really not feeling to write cape of myself, so I'm just going to use this. So then I'm just going to use the same thing I used for the other picture and I was... So you guys, I think I'm gonna stop right here. I think it's perfect right now. So I sticked this little photo card here and some heart stickers and a rainbow. I think that's enough. If you're wondering what this is, this is actually a, I don't know, like the plastic thing that comes in a makeup palette saying like all the different um, names for the colors. Like it was from this Peach Farm Etude House palette. So. I thought it's really cute and I think it's really beautiful. So like this and I kind of sticked it here under because I'm afraid that it will rip off. And voila, I think that's my new K-pop journal, you guys. Oh my god, I cannot believe this is like super beautiful egg and I cannot really wait to work with this. So you guys, this is my K-pop journal. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm so satisfied. It's super cute and it's like so my style. Like I really wanted to try the 80s and the 90s, but you know, it wasn't really my thing. And I just feel really comfortable in this cute kawaii style. So um, I really love it. And I cannot wait to show you more of my spreads that I'm gonna make. So follow me on Instagram. And thank you guys so so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I know it's been a really messy video, um, like no structure at all, but you know that's a part of a makeover and I'm really happy with it. And take care and bye bye. See you the next time.